Hello everyone and welcome to iBasiac. Well today I'm going to be unboxing and having a first look at this Beldre Sonic MultiClean, the all-in-one cordless cleaning system. Now for those of you who are familiar with the Shark Sonic Duo, this is a similar sort of machine although the Beldre version is cordless. And I picked this up for a bargain price, nowhere near the price it's selling for normally, about £30 I paid for this. And uh, I also got some additional cleaning solutions here. So I'm going to unbox this, see what we get in the box, and then I'll be doing a full demonstration of this in a later video. Okay then, let's have a look what we get inside this cordless and rechargeable. Multi clean, okay. Oh, well, that was easy, one of the easiest unboxings I've ever done. <laughs> All seems to come out in one piece, right? That's it. Now, I have a feeling, and it did so, I was quite surprised at this. It says on the box that no cleaning solutions are included, which I think is ridiculous, to be honest. I know with the Shark Sonic Duo, they do provide all the cleaning solutions, but with this one, you don't get the solutions. You get the microfiber pads, they seem to be inside this package here, but you don't get any of the solutions, so I'm really pleased that I got a packet of the solutions to go with this otherwise I wouldn't have I would have been able to do the demonstration okay there is an extra information here note on charging the appliance please note that when charging the sonic multi-clean only the power indicate indicator light on the mains power adapter will illuminate red and change to green once the battery is fully charged the power indicator light on the Sonic MultiClean will not illuminate while charging. The power indicator light on the Sonic MultiClean will only illuminate green when it's in use to indicate that it's charged and switch, switched on. This will illuminate red when the Sonic MultiClean needs to be charged. So, I assume there'll be a plug-in charger, so that's what that's saying. Here's the charger in here. So there is a little light on the unit just above where it says Beldre that will not illuminate when you're charging it up. So here we have the instruction manual. And that's the that's that bit that's a charger. Something on it there. So that's your mains charger. That must be the little light the um, instructions are referring to so it just plugs in and we need to charge that up I'm not sure how long for now we get various pads two of these pads these are for your general hard floor cleaning and we uh, use these pads in conjunction with the hard floor cleaning solution so you get two of those or oh, it does actually say on there so you know wood slash hard floor cleaning pad and these will be washable oh yes all the washing instructions are on the back they're washable at 30 degrees machine or hand wash do not tumble dry do not iron use only liquid detergent to wash no bleach and I assume, yes, no fabric softener. Don't use fabric softener on microfiber pads because it stops them working properly because the fabric softener coats all the fibers and repels the dirt. You want them to absorb dirt. So there we go, that's the two, and they're very thick. When, the, when they're attached to the machine, they go like that very, very fast with a scrubbing action, sonic action. So that's those. This one is a polishing pad and you can use that in conjunction with the polish and shine solution. You only get one of those. Again, it's washable. And finally, what's this one? Oh, this is the carpet. So that feels a lot different. This is the carpet cleaning pad. 
and again it says so on there and you can use this to clean your carpets again using the Beldre carpet cleaning foam that is in the cleaning solution pack. Uh, so there we go that's the three sets well you get four actual pads but three different sets now here obviously looks like there's a tray a handy tray to actually stand the machine in when you're storing it away and here is the Sonic MultiClean itself. Now, I'm just going to pause because I need a pair of scissors just to undo this tie here. Okay, I've got my scissors, so I'll just carefully cut this tie off. There we are. Now, oh, it is actually, I thought that would be a separate piece, but the handle is actually attached. It will need fitting to the machine. Let's just remove this bag. I was going to get a Shark Sonic Duo, and I still might. But when I saw this at such a reasonable price, I thought, well, I'll give this a go. It's a similar idea to the Shark even has two headlights, I mean it, it's quite a similar copy. There's two headlights here, there's a spray nozzle there that um, distributes the solution onto the floor. You've got the base with sort of, well it's sort of a velcro fitting that the, you'd attach the pads to. It's not quite as manoeuvrable I don't think as the Shark, it only goes up and down like that. The Shark I think swivels more, it swivels this way as well as going up and down. I've not used the shark one so I'm just guessing. Oh it does actually lock in the upright position so that's good. And here's the handle. Oops, let's lay it down. Now I assume, ah oh yes we just have to attach a screw let us first of all remove the bubble wrap that's attached to the handle. I might need my scissors again. Let's cut that off. Oh, I don't know why that's on there. And perhaps, well that's there to stop the machine turning on. Perhaps there's a bit of charge if I was to switch it on. So I'll leave that on until I've assembled the Sonic MultiClean. And I think it's just a case of just attaching the handle. Now Beldre, they've been going since 1872. I know the name Beldre because my mum had a Beldre ironing board. And Beldre tend to do sort of things for the home, things for laundry and all sorts of things. They're not so well known for they're electrical items, but they are doing more electrical things now, including vacuum cleaners. So, let me see. Step. Da -da 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 -da. Stand the machine upright. Insert there. Well, just doesn't really give you much detail, but let's stand the machine upright and I'll screw the handle in position. So, I think I need to remove this screw first and then position the handle. Ah, I see I locate it at the top I think and then push it into position. That's it and that's... Now you do need a screwdriver or I expect 10 pence piece would do that but I can just use my nail for now just to give it a, a rudimentary tighten. I'll tighten it properly before I use it, but that's basically all you have to do. Okay, so here's the Beldre Sonic MultiClean assembled and ready to be charged. There is a small charge in the machine and I'll show you the action of the head in a minute, but uh, the instructions recommend it's charged for 10 hours before you first use it. So I've got it stood in its little storage tray and uh, before I do my full demo of course I will be plugging the charger in and there is a little hole 
little charging port just at the side of the cleaner here near the top. So we just need to plug that in and give it a thorough charge. This is the handle for the Beldre Sonic Multi Clean and we can see there's two buttons. One controls the spray and the other switches the machine on and off and this will illuminate red when the machine's operating. To fill the Sonic Multi Clean with the cleaning solution we need to remove this stopper here and then using a jug with the diluted solution just pour into the opening here. This is the solution tank and it's got some markings on so you can see how full it is. So you can fill it a quarter full if you're only cleaning a small area, half full, three quarters full or up to the maximum fill line. This is the cleaning head of the Sonic Multi Clean. It incorporates two LED lights to help illuminate the path in front of you to show you where you're cleaning. And in the middle there's the spray jet that sprays the cleaning solution onto the floor in front of the machine and then of course you pass the machine over it with a scrubbing action to remove all the dirt. To attach one of the cleaning pads all you do is lay it on the floor next to the machine and then you just lift the cleaning head and place it directly over the top of the pad trying to get it as central as you can and now it's fixed to the machine and we're ready to get cleaning. In order to show you the cleaning action of this Sonic Multi Clean, I've attached the carpet cleaning pad. I just want to give you an idea of what the machine does, but of course if you want to see my full demo, you'll have to wait a couple of weeks for that. I need to fully charge this and also I need to get to know how to use the machine before I show you. But anyway, as a, a rough guide, just to show you what it does, I'm just going to recline the handle and I'm just going to turn the machine on and you'll see the scrubbing action. Now it oscillates very fast, it says 900 oscillations per minute. You'll also notice that the LED headlights illuminate when I turn it on. If I show you the bottom of the machine we might be able to see the scrubbing action a little bit better. There we go. So there you go, that gives you a rough idea of what this machine does. It's quite quiet and being cordless, unlike the Shark version, it means I'll be able to take it all around my home, do my ensuite, do my bathroom without having to worry where to plug it in. So in that way, it does score points over the Shark version. I've not used the Shark version yet, so I can't say how they compare as far as cleaning goes. But I do like the cordless idea because I do find cordless machines give you a little bit more freedom. So there we go, that's the first look at this new multi-purpose Sonic Multi-Clean hard floor and carpet cleaner. One thing you do, actually, and that's why there's a nice big tab on the back of here, when you've finished using the machine on either your carpets or your hard floors, you can just put your foot on the tab and pull the machine up and then of course you can pop this in your washing machine. As I said earlier, you don't actually get any of these cleaning solutions with the machine, or at least I didn't with my version. Possibly when you buy yours, if you do decide to buy one, it might come with solutions, but double check beforehand, otherwise you'll have to go out and buy some more solution for it. This is the solution pack you can buy. It has the wood and hard floor cleaning solution, the carpet cleaning foam, and the polish and shine solution. Now the only solution that goes inside the machine is the hard floor cleaning solution here. The foam is sprayed on separately and the polish is put on the floor separately. You don't put or try to put any of these into the machine itself. It's just the green solution here that goes inside and that's the solution that gets sprayed out of the front. Now the dilution rate for this is a ratio of one parts per 20 parts water. One part solution to 20 parts water. Now that's not very helpful because I don't know how big the capacity of this tank is. 
so I really don't know how much to add. So what I'm going to do, I'll have to work out how many millilitres of solution I need to put in to the water. I'll be working that out and I'll be telling you that when I do the full demo. So it's a bit easier, rather than saying dilute one part per 20 parts water, it should have said say 50 millilitres of solution per full tank or something like that. But anyway, I'll work all that out for you. So when I come to do the demonstration, we'll know exactly how much to put in. I'm not sure if I can use another cleaning solution inside this. I can't see why not. Um, as long as it's diluted to the correct rate and it's meant for cleaning hard floors, I can't see any reason why once I've used this up, if I can't get hold of any more, I don't see why I can't use a regular hard floor solution. But of course, Beldre will recommend that you use their solutions. The stove and the lid, uh, it's sealed up, so I can't give it a smell, but it's supposed to smell of citrus, I believe. So that's your main hard floor cleaning solution. For cleaning carpets, you get this aerosol spray. So you just need to shake that and spray it onto the area you want to clean. And then you use the carpet cleaning pad and you go over that area. It's supposed to remove the surface dirt initially, but the, as the foam dries, it is supposed to absorb into the carpet and dislodge the deep down dirt, which you then have to vacuum up when the carpet's dry. We'll see how effective that is in my demo. I don't think it'll be as effective as a proper carpet washer, but it might be okay for doing those quick cleanups for the in-between times if you've got visitors coming and you need the carpet to dry quickly. And finally we've got the floor polish and shine solution and again that's not designed to go inside the tank you are supposed to apply that to the floor yourself after you've cleaned the floor now it just says spray a generous amount of the Beldre polish and shine solution onto the area but it doesn't actually have a spray so it's a bit silly that it's just in this bottle so what I would suggest is once you've used up an old spray cleaner rinse the bottle out put a label on it saying Beldre polish or something and then put this into it so you can actually spray it on otherwise it's just a case of pouring this on which isn't very good you need to be able to spray it so that's it's a little bit odd but anyway they are the three cleaning solutions that you can buy to go with your Beldre Sonic Multi Clean well that just about concludes my unboxing and first look at the Beldre Sonic Multi Clean all-in-one cordless cleaning system if you'd like to see my full demonstration and review of this model Please subscribe and you'll be updated when I upload the full review. So until the next time, thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.